Today's video is gonna be about the latest rumors about the new Fujifilm X-T5, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm gonna talk a little bit about the newest rumors about the new Fujifilm X-T5 that will go out next week. It's been two years since Fuji released the X-T4 which made a huge difference for all the content creators out there and now it's time for a new camera. According to Fujifilm and the rumors about Fujifilm cameras the new X-T5 will be announced on November 2nd but I believe it will be shipped in France for December 2022. According to the rumors there are some quite differences between the X-T5 and the X-T4 so let's talk about them. The new X-T5 is expected to have a 40 megapixel sensor comparing to 26 on the Fuji X-T4. It will have also a newer processor, so allowing it to have a better autofocus, a more reliable and quick autofocus comparing to the X-T4. It will have less rolling shutter speed, less rolling shutter effect, which is really handful for vloggers and for filmmakers. But on the other hand, it will not have a flip out screen. It will have only a tilt screen like the X-T3 and not the X-T4, which is uh, not very useful for vloggers and videographers. Based on the rumors, the X-T5 is smaller than the X-T4 and lighter than the X-T4 and it doesn't support any vertical grip to it. I think it will be announced at about 1,700 euros or 1,800 euros comparing to the X-H2 which is at about 2,200 euros now in France. Even if this camera has a better autofocus, a better processor, a newer processor, but I believe it's more dedicated to photographers and not filmmakers and videographers because it doesn't have a flip out screen. So that made this camera more dedicated to photography side rather than the videography side. Let's wait on November 2nd and see all the specs of the new X-T5. So far we know that it cannot record 8K video. I hope that it can record at least 4K 120 frame per second for slow motion. I hope that it can record maybe 6K for 30 frame per second or 4K 60 frame per second without cropping in the image. So we can use this camera for filmmaking uh, with the monitor of course because we don't have a flip out screen on it. I will make another video after the launch of the camera to talk more about the specs of the new X-T5 and to see whether it's beneficial to me to upgrade from my X-T4 that I like a lot to the new X-T5. Till then, have a nice day. Ciao.